let us have a high level overview of end to end flow in salesforce cpq before that let us also assume that you represent the organization dell and dell is using a crm to keep a track of all their customer relationship management and let us also assume that dell is using salesforce so you represent dell and dell is using salesforce and when it comes to the end to end flow everything starts with account in salesforce ecosystem account or customer or client it means the same if you navigate back to the salesforce org of dell when you click on accounts tab you'll find bunch of records now each and every record represent a customer of dell and we are interested in a single record that represents the organization salesforce so salesforce is the customer of dell in this case a salesforce would have already done some business in the past with dell they would have purchased some laptops external monitors other components for the sake of the demo let us assume that as a part of the new initiative salesforce is interested in purchasing some cpus gpus and server components from dell just to reiterate this assume that salesforce had already done some business with dell and now salesforce as a part of new initiative is interested in procuring some more components from dell so account as mentioned earlier is the tip of the entire flow and account represents the customer after that the second piece in the entire flow is called opportunity opportunity is used if you want to put a dollar value to the deal meaning as mentioned earlier salesforce is interested in procuring cpus gpus and server components and if dell wants to put a dollar value to this deal then dell is going to take the help of opportunity object a opportunity record will be created all the necessary information will be provided and subsequently we can put a dollar value to the deal that salesforce is trying to make with dell that salesforce is trying to make with dell so just to give you a recap account is customer opportunity is we trying to put a dollar value to the deal the next piece in the puzzle is quote quote is the amount that the end customer will be paying dell opportunity is the dollar value that dell will be making if the deal is closed however quote is the amount that the end customer has to pay the reason why we'll try to create quote is once after we create a quote we can add products we can assign pricing to it we can also assign discounts on top of it now it is a pretty common practice to have multiple quotes for a single opportunity initially quote will be created then the customer is going to push for some more discount dell is going to apply let's say 5% discount and then salesforce is going to push hard for some more discount dell is going to apply 15% discount for each of these versions a quote record will be created so it's a common practice to have multiple quote records for a single opportunity or deal so the sales agent is going to create a quote record and the sales agent is going to add the products that the customer is interested in from their entire catalog now dell might have a catalog of hundreds of products however the customer is interested in only three products so the sales agent is going to create a quote record now the sales agent is going to pick those three products that the customer is interested in and the sales agent is going to add those three products to the quote once the sales agent adds those three products to the quote we'll call them as quote line items so step 1 quote will be created step 2 whatever products the customer is interested in those products will be added to the quote and those products will become quote lines once the quote is activated a order record will be created once the order record is created we can generate invoice from it so once the quote record is activated order record gets created and likewise all the quote line items will be copied over to order line items meaning the quote line items will exist as is however clones of these three records will be created they will be inserted into order line item object and the parent for these three records is going to be the newly created order record so quote is activated order is created three other records in order line items will be created which are nothing but the clone of these three records the parent of three order line items is going to be the newly created order record now once the order is contracted a contract will be created a contract is more or less an agreement between both the buyer and the seller contract is going to have start date end date tenure so on and so forth 
So once the order is contracted, a contract record will be created and three subscriptions will be created. These are nothing but the clones of order line items. The three order line items will be carry forwarded as subscription records. And the parent of the subscription records is going to be the newly created contract record. So if you take a step back and if you look at the end to end flow, the whole flow starts with account record, which is nothing but the customer. And then if you want to put a dollar value to the deal, we'll be creating an opportunity record. Followed by that, we'll be creating a quote because we'll have to add the product, apply some discount, etc. So a quote record will be created. We will pick the products that the customer is interested in from the entire catalog that your organization caters. They will become quote line items. Quote is activated. So order will be created. Once the order is created, these three records will be carry forwarded as order line items. Now just because order line items are created from quote line items, they will not be deleted. They will still stay intact there. Once the order is contracted, a contract record will be created. And subsequently, three subscription records will be created from order line items. Now in this whole flow, we are not talking about two important pieces. And they are price book entry and price book. I don't want to overwhelm you by talking about these two complex and important objects. We'll save them for another day. So this here is the end-to-end -end flow in Salesforce CPQ. Now I'm not trying to say that these are the only objects you'll be working with as a part of Salesforce CPQ. However, these are some of the most frequently encountered with objects as a part of your day-to-day -day job as a Salesforce CPQ resource. That's all for this episode. I'll call it a day.